what up guys welcome back to my channel this weekend we are off to Vegas for a quick weekend trip to the Sun so let's go We just landed in Las Vegas. Uh, we need to get to our hotel, which I'm staying at the Flamingo. So you have so many options. You could go high roller and go take a limo. They have Ubers and Lyfts, obviously taxis, but I prefer taking the shuttle. Um, there's a couple different companies in Vegas that you can take. It's about $15 round trip to any of the hotels. Um, on the strip, so we're gonna go grab our ticket get on our shuttle and head to our hotel and I will see you guys later So here is tip number two for how to be a baller in Vegas on a budget your hotel room so I use four different hotel booking sites. I look at Groupon, Booking.com, Hotels.com, and then their actual website. Now, I do compare all four of them at one time, um, and usually the cheapest one is going to be Booking or the direct website. Now, on Groupon, you can get good deals. Um, you really just have to play around with the dates, though. And on the direct website for the hotels, each hotel has their own rewards program. So definitely sign up, it's free. Plus you get perks and you can add on um, your drinks and food at some of the locations along with um, your gambling if you're gonna be gambling in Vegas. So another tip is the $20 trick, which I tried on this trip and it totally worked. Now there are tons of videos out there to, go more in depth on how to do the $20 trick. And I will link some of those down below um, in the description box. So that is tip number two on how to get cheap hotel rooms in Vegas. Tip number three, how to save on your alcohol in Vegas. So I like to go to Walgreens, pick up my alcohol, pick up some mixers and put them in the mini fridge in the hotel room. You're gonna save money this way, mixing your own drinks and walking around the strip with them instead of buying them on the strip because you can be spending anywhere from 10 to $20 on one drink. And as for the pool parties, what I like to do is I purchase a pitcher of whatever is the strongest drink that they have. A pitcher is gonna run you about $100, and in the long run, you're actually saving money. You're gonna get more liquor, more drinks in one pitcher at one time than you would buying one drink at a time. I was just in Vegas for this last weekend, and we bought one drink, a vodka 7-Up, and it cost me $20 for a red cup size drink where a pitcher is gonna be eight drinks, more alcohol, and I just throw some straws in there, make some friends, and I spend $100. Now, it seems like a lot in the beginning, but you're actually saving in the long run because you're gonna drink that pitcher for a longer amount of time. So that is tip number three, how to save on alcohol. Tip number four, how to get into the clubs and pool parties for free. Yep, you heard me correctly. I said for free. Now, what I like to do is I use Instagram for this. I go in, I do a search and I'll type in Vegas nightlife or Vegas pool parties and the hashtag will come up. Click on that hashtag, go and into the current section of Instagram, and it's gonna give you a long list of every DJ playing at what nightclub, what pool party, and there's gonna be a phone number. What you're gonna do is you're gonna text that phone number, 
and that's gonna be the promoter. You're gonna give them how many girls, how many guys are in your party, and they'll give you um, a confirmation letting you know that they're on their guest list, who to say you're with, and you're in. It's as easy as that. So when I was just in Vegas this last weekend, we went to two pool parties. We went to Night Swim at the Encore uh, Beach Club at the Wynn, and then we went to the pool party during the day also at Wynn. Both of them had top headlighting EDM DJs, and on Friday night when we went, it was $65 for guys to get in and $45 for girls to get in. We got in for free. Plus, we also got free drinks. Now, if you're a group of guys, I'm sorry, it usually is equal amount of girls and guys to be on the guest list. That's number four, how to save and get in to some of the best DJs, you guys, in Vegas for free. Tip number five, all the free things to do in Vegas. Now, Vegas has quite a lot to do um, that's free. You can go see the Bellagio Fountains, for instance, or you can just walk around on the Strip and go look at all the really cool interactive pieces that they have. The hotels themselves are pretty cool to just go check out. Now, on this trip, we went to Fremont Street, which was pretty cool. It's in downtown Las Vegas, and there is a bus that goes there. It's $8 for 24 hours, or you could take an Uber, which wasn't horribly expensive. Now, Fremont Street has quite a array of street performers of all different kinds, so don't be shocked. It can get a little outrageous. And then at night, they have the Fremont Experience, which is a live uh, light show on the ceiling of the Fremont Pavilion area, um, which is really cool. And then there's Container Park, and there's a giant uh, manatee. No, um, I forget the bug. So if you can remember, just leave it in the comments but it breathes fire at night and it's a really cool area to check out. Now, one thing that I thought was fun and a little weird was at Main Street Hotel near the train tracks, they have weird um, antiques from all over the world. And one of them is they have the Berlin Wall inside the men's restroom. So if you're a female, you either have to wait till the guys are out or ask one of the staff to um, escort you in. But it's a really cool piece of history um, to check out and it's free. So that's tip number five. Go check out uh, just the strip and walk around. Tip number six, where to eat in Vegas. So Vegas is home to some of the top restaurants in the world. I recommend eating off the strip. Now, there are some amazing restaurants off the strip, not too far away by Uber, and they're just as good, and they're gonna cost you half the price. So, I definitely have some places that I like to go to on the strip. One of them is the Hash House at GoGo. I always go there for brunch one day when I'm visiting Vegas, along with In-N-Out Burger because we don't have them here in Colorado and I love In-N-Out Burger. So check out what's off the strip and try something different. You'll be surprised. Tip number seven, we're finally there. So doing things off of the strip adventure-wise. Now, this is my first time ever doing this and it was so much fun. My friend and I went dune buggying. Now, it was a little expensive when I was first looking at their website, which I will link in the comments below because they were amazing as a company. Um, so we did use sun buggies 
and we actually did the early morning um, adventure. So it was uh, 8 a.m. pickup, which you're gonna wanna do early anyway because Vegas is really hot in the summertime. And we were sweating and covered in dust by the end of it, but we actually saved um, quite a bit of money on this. So an hour adventure was going to be about 250 per person if we did a single car for an hour and then it was 150 during a 30 minute ride and this way we ended up doing an hour ride in a two person car we were able to um, split the driving time so my friend drove for 30 minutes and then I got to drive for 30 minutes and we spent the amount of money that we would have being only a 30 minute single ride so definitely if you're looking for a fun adventure um, to go do off the strip definitely chuck out sun buggies they also have atvs and family rides um, and look at their website but definitely if you're looking to save some money do the 8 a.m trip because it was awesome now there are also a ton of other adventures you can do I have tips and tricks um, for your vegas trip on how to do it on a budget luxury style definitely list them down in the comments i love to read what you guys have and until next time, keep pedaling and I'll see you later.